Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Fitness and Cars. My name is Tom Nunziato, and today I'm going to be, sh be showing you how to change Brembo brake pads on a 2015 Camaro SS. If you've been watching my videos before, you're familiar with my car. It's supercharged. I have 623 horsepower to the wheel and 665 pounds of torque to the wheel. And so, um, as you can tell, my brake pads probably wear out pretty fast from, uh, from all that power. Uh, and so I got these awesome uh, extreme uh, power stop pads, Z26. Um, these brake pads apparently are supposed to prevent brake dust. Abs there's supposed to be no brake dust at all. So after I replace these, I have to take it on a couple of tests um, to, uh, to break in the pads. But then I'm going to wash my car as it's filthy, drive it for a little bit and uh, test out whether there's any brake dust or not. So I'll take you guys on that journey with me. And so uh, with that being said, let's get started. So put all my tools in here to help me out. Now, the first thing we're gonna do on these Brembo brake pads is there's, whoa, sorry. There's, uh, there's two pins uh, here and here that are holding in the brake pads inside there. So what we wanna do is uh, take the pins out and then there's, uh, in this kit, they give you these new metal brackets here. Um, what we wanna do is take out the old bracket, basically push the, uh, the pistons in so that the old brake pads come out, and then we're simply going to put, the, put in the new brake pads. So let's do that all now. So the pins, apparently, from other videos I see, you just gotta bang them out, just like this. I got this little, uh, it, it's meant exactly for this. You can get these at Canadian Tire if you live in Canada. Um, in the States, I'm not sure where you can get it, but it's, it's pin pusher or something like that. So here we go, let's bang it out. Oh shit, okay, so you don't want to put it too much in there. The pin should just slide out here. Let's use uh, one of these guys. Push the, uh, push the metal spring in and it pops right out. So there's pin number one. Uh, let's get to that second one now. Do, do, do. There we go, that one I didn't put in too much. Uh, now let's pull that out. Remember, push the spring in uh, with your finger and a pin should come right out. Just like that, baby, right there. And uh, let's see what happens here. So um, this spring should come out somehow. There we go. Um, so uh, if you push the brake pads back against the pistons, apparently it'll pull it out. I'm gonna figure out how to get this. See, that's all brake dust. This is the first time I'm doing this. I'm still learning. Uh, just trying to get this metal spring out. I'm not worried about damaging it because again, the spring, the the kit comes with uh, extra metal brackets or springs, whatever you call it. So I'm just trying to be patient here. Get this guy out of here. Almost got it. There we go. Actually, pad's actually coming out. 
Yay, celebration. It's finally out. There's the old one. And as you can see, the pad, just gotta kinda wiggle it out of there. And uh, there's my, one of my brake pads. Uh, it's like almost completely worn out. Uh, wow. Anyway, let's get that other one now. There we go, and we got two worn out brake pads that create a crazy amount of brake dust. Look at my freaking fingers. My freaking fingers. All right. Now, all we're gonna do is we're going to, it comes with a silicon compound. Uh, you wanna put this on the back of the brake pads where the pistons of the brakes are going to be touching. This way in the future, they won't seize, stick together. So let's get these brake pads out of here. These new Z26 Extreme Power Stop brake pads. So there's a new brake pad. You can compare it to my old one. See the difference in the amount of pad that's left? This one is basically squeak, they're squealing like crazy. These ones apparently won't cause any brake dust. So let's slide, this. let's get some, uh, let's get some uh, grease on the back of this right there. We're gonna rub it all over the back there. So I'm gonna open this little guy. Just like that. All right. Is any coming out? Oh, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna, going to put a little bit so I have enough left for the other one and just kind of, you know, put it all around there, guy. Just like that. And again, this is uh, anti seize type of grease. Um, the back of the plate here is where the pistons of the Brembo pads are going to be pushing up against. And so you wanna make sure you put a generous amount of uh, anti-seize lubrication. So let's just tear this guy open. Give me a little trouble here. And oh, you wanna make sure you don't get any of this on the front of the brake pad because you know, you want your brake pads to have friction, not anti-friction. <laughs> so make sure you only put it on the back, please. Uh, there we go. I think I got most of the pad here. Uh-huh. I'm going to put a little more. Okay, that should be good. All right, so first things first. What we are going to do, slide, the, slide this bad boy in, the one in the back. Uh, oh, right. We've got to push back the pins a little more. There's that guy. So four piston brake pads. They move all the way to the back, no problem. You just gotta give it a little bit of force. But once you do that, you'll be able to fit the, uh, the pads in there easily. So let's, let's see how that works. All right. Okay. Let's make sure I get any debris off this guy. Oh, she looks good, she's fine. Uh, so I'm just gonna slide that bad boy in. Come on. You gotta make sure those pin, those uh, pistons are all the way back, or else the uh, the new brake pad's not gonna fit in. Really, you gotta put a little bit of force. Okay, make sure they're all the way back. All right. So that's that. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, first one's in. Sweet. All right, let's do the next one. All right, so a little bit of anti-seize lubrication. Uh, if you're using the same, try not to put too much because it looks like it might run out pretty quick of the anti-seize lubrication. Uh, so actually you only need to put a little bit, it looks like. All right, slide second brake pad in. We are almost done, the first brake pad. Oh, oh, gotta push the pistons back. Uh, one piston and two, oh. Seems like when you push one piston, the other one moves up a little bit. So you kind of have to even it out so they're both pushed back. An even amount there. And slide that bad boy in. Come 
Come on. Yes. Oh, too far. All right, there we go. Now let's get one of these fresh uh, metal brackets. Uh, try to set it up the same way it was set up earlier. Well, that was easy. And the pins. And now we push the pins in. So pushing. Oh, I see. You got to line up the pin with the hole inside the uh, inside the brake pad. Let's bang that guy a little. There we go. Make sure it's behind the metal bracket. Uh huh. All right. One pin in. Number two. Boom, and we're done. That easy. And that's how you fix, uh, well, that's how you replace Brembo brake pads. I'll do the other one, but you know, it's the exact same thing. It's super simple. Here's a close up. Everything is uh, in there perfectly. Um, it, it just lines up with the pins. So as long as you get the, uh, the metal bracket um, behind the pins as you're banging them in, It'll put the brake pads in the exact position they need to be in. So uh, that's that. Thank you for watching my channel. Once again, subscribers, please like and share. Um, this is a very good video to share. For anyone that has Brembo brake pads, not just for a Camaro, but Brembo, brake, brake, Brembo brakes are very easy to, to, to replace yourself. Don't go to a mechanic and do it. Just get the proper tools. As you can see, you need a hammer, a pin pusher, um, and maybe that's, that's about it. All right, so thank you subscribers. Have a great day. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to break in the new brake pads, the Extreme Z20, Z26 uh, Power Stop brake pads. <clears throat> the instructions say to uh, speed up to 40 kilometers an hour uh, and then slow down to 10 kilometers an hour and then, uh, you know, speed up again to 35 and then slow down to 10. So and then you let them cool for five minutes after that. So here we go. to wash my car well I'm going to wash my car um, and then uh, drive it around for the day uh, and then check out what the uh, what the brake pad situation what the brake dust situation is because again these brake pads that I put in the Z26 extreme power stop brake pads um, they don't cause any brake dust at all uh, so uh, next video we'll show that all right the beast of Beaton is all washed uh, I'm gonna take her for a little cruise for about an hour or two and then check out the brake dust situation. So uh, there it is, all shiny. Let's check out the wheels. So as you can see, they're nice and clean. Uh, I'm gonna drive it for about uh, two, an hour or two, take it for a rip, take it for a little boot, and uh, we'll check out the brake dust situation. See you in a bit. All right, so uh, I'm on the highway here, taking my little, taking my beast, the beast of Beaton, for a little rip, a little boot, a little cruise. <laughs> traffic down here man so I can't really rip it
But let me tell you, these brake pads are awesome. I only had to replace the front because uh, the back, uh, my mechanic at Race Ready Garage did them a few months ago. Uh, not, he didn't tell me what brake pads he put in there, but they are producing brake dust. So I know they're not the same pads that I have now. Again, they're the uh, Extreme Performance uh, per, uh, Power Stop Z26 brake pads uh, for the Brembo brakes, four piston brakes on the 2015 Camaro SS. Again, my Camaro is supercharged. It's got 623 horsepower to the wheel and 665 pounds of torque. I also have LG headers, upgraded thermostat, uh, NGK spark plugs. Um, meth injection kit from Alki, the Alki meth, meth injection kit. And uh, yeah, so far these brake pads are awesome, man. It's, I like them a lot. I know it's a huge difference from uh, the old worn out brake pads. But like I said, I'm gonna drive for about an hour or two, uh, take my car up north to my favorite roads here in Ontario. And uh, like I said, take her for a little rip. Uh, right now, there's a lot of traffic on the highway, so you know. I like to put a little bit of fear in the hearts of the cars around me, so that they stay away from me. The place that I'm, uh, the place that I live in Ontario, the driving is horrendous. The place that I live actually has the highest insurance rates in all of Canada, actually in all of North America. Uh, it's called Brampton, and uh, the driving here is really bad. It's known for a lot of insurance fraud. People will like disconnect their brake lights and slam their brakes on you, so you rear-end them, uh, and then they'll uh, sue your insurance company. So when I'm driving around my area, I, I have to really be careful. Um, I always like to find open pockets in the road where there are no cars around me. Um, and you know, I actually have a perfect driving record. I don't have any speeding tickets. I don't have any accidents. Um, and I'm still paying high insurance down here. For, I have two cars. I have a Honda CRV 2004, my beater for the winter. And I have the, this, the Beast of V-Town, my supercharged Camaro SS. Um, so I'm going to be making a lot more videos. I have, uh, I have a new audio device, a wireless microphone professional. I'm not using it right now because I couldn't set it up for the drive, uh, but I was using it when I was replacing the brake the brake pads earlier. You'll notice the audio was a lot better on that on that video. Anyway, uh, I'll make one more video after this one to show uh, the brake dust situation on the front wheels, and that will be that. So let's do that. So I've been driving for a little bit. Um, you may have noticed I'm wearing different clothes from when I was replacing the brake pads. Uh, it's because I was completely covered in brake dust. My hands were like black and got them off. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been driving around with these new brake pads for a while now on the highway and stuff, uh, doing some brake tests. And uh, there's absolutely no brake dust. Look, check it out. There is absolutely no brake dust whatsoever. Um, and so, yeah, I highly recommend them. They're great. They stop really quick. Uh, and the best part about it is your wheels will be clean, especially if you have black ones like mine. Brake dust, you know, shows really, really quickly. So, um, thank you, subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel, share, uh, and like. Um, and thank you very much. Have a great day.